Hey friends, I am Shaz and welcome back to the Ministry of Reviews. Today I will review another CarPlay AI box, also known as a car media adapter. This one is from the brand called Tech Wizard and the model I'm going to review in this video is the Tech Wizard MMB Pro model. This version runs on the latest Android 13 system with a fast QCM660 processor, a massive 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded with a memory card. It's got the built-in GPS system for navigation, uh, the standard wireless CarPlay and the Android Auto platforms, a SIM card tray for internet connectivity and also a HDMI slot to connect this box with the rear entertainment system in your car or even with your TV at home. Now let's first do the unboxing to check out the contents in the box and then I will connect this in my car to test the overall performance of this new Tech Wizard MMB Pro Smart AI box. So keep watching guys. This is what we get inside the box. This is the main device, the main adapter. Um, we'll come to this in a while. Let's uh, check out the other contents in the box. So we get the user manual or the installation guide. Then we get two cables. These are the cables that connect the device with your car. So this is a type C to type A connection cable. So you've got a type A and the type C. Now the type C connects with the device and the type A connects with your car. And in case your car doesn't have a type A slot, then you would need to take this type C USB cable. All right, so this is a type C to type C. One end connects with the cable with the device and the other end connects with the USB slot in your car. All right, so this is what you get inside the box, the installation guide and uh, the cables to connect. And then this is uh, the Tech Wizard Android AI box. Now, it's extremely lightweight. It's uh, all plastic. You've got the, the logo of the brand on top. You've got uh, details here. Uh, now, this is an LED indicator. So as soon as you switch this on, you'll find this light uh, come up. Um, now on the side you've got enough spacing for uh, air ventilation so the, the device doesn't heat up. So that's nice. Uh, and in terms of the connections, so if we look at the connections here, we have uh, the first one is uh, this is the SIM card slot. This is where you insert the SIM card. Um, and then you have the USB-C, this is for um, the cable, this is where you connect the cable and the other end connects with your car, so you, SIM card tray, USB type C and then finally you've got the slot for the TF card or the SD memory card. Alright, on the other end you've got these two connections, uh, the first one is a mini HDMI connection uh, this is where you can connect the HDMI cable and then uh, that you connect that HDMI with either the back or the rear entertainment system in your car or you can even connect it uh, with your TV at home and then you have a USB A flash drive slot in, in case you want to connect you know external devices or external uh, storage uh, devices or drives all right uh, now keep one thing in mind you've got a mini HDMI uh, connection here but you don't actually get the HDMI cable in the box so you'll have to buy that separately if you want to connect this with the, the rear system in your car or with the TV at home all right so uh, very simple connections um, looks quite nice now uh, let me take this uh, to my car uh, connect it and then we start testing the different functions and features so keep watching guys all right, friends, so we are in the car and I've already connected the Tech Wizard, the smart AI box to the USB plug in my car. Uh, it takes only 25 to 30 seconds for this device to start and switch on as soon as you come in the car and uh, get to the main home page or the landing page of the Android system that looks like this. So it's a quite a nice and decent speed uh, to connect. Now, uh, 
it looks very nice as you can see the layout is quite nice it's a very clean layout um, looks very similar to the apple user interface um, you know the color combination and the different widgets and the icons on the main page um, so let me give you a quick tour of this main page layout uh, so what you have on the left side is the time and the connectivity you've got some of the applications that are currently running or the ones that were last open you've got the back button you also have the full app button here uh, now on the main screen you've got the navigation on the right side you've got the date time calendar media playing and right at the bottom is the favorite bar this is where you can add up to six favorite applications on the main page if you want so if you want to change any of these just long press uh, delete it and then add any other that you want to um, include so up to six favorite uh, applications can be added to the main home page but if you want to go to the full view of all the applications that are pre-installed on this device you simply need to go to this all app view this is where you get to see all the different applications that are pre-installed uh, or all the ones that are installed onto this device uh, so you can see there are quite a few of them were, that were pre-installed but i've also installed some extra ones just for the test today so you can simply go to the play store you can go to the apk installer and install more apps this device has 128 gigs of massive internal storage so you don't have to worry about you know downloading heavy applications um, and so this is the full app view uh, looks very nice and it's quite responsive the icons are also quite nice uh, if you click on this you come back to the main home page which is more of a split screen view looks quite nice um, so this is the overview uh, now what i'll do is in order to test the performance of this tech wizard uh, mmb pro carplay device i will start testing the different functions and features um, and the different uh, applications on this device so keep watching guys all right, so before I start testing the different applications, I just want to highlight one thing that this device is ideal for cars with touchscreen like mine, but it can also be used in cars uh, without touchscreen. You know, the cars with the knob controllers or the steering wheel controllers or the touchpad, you can very easily use this device in those kind of cars as well. Um, for that, you get this remote control along with the device when you order it uh, and it's a very nice remote control you just need to connect the 2.4 gigahertz wireless adapter with the device um, the USB A dongle and then you actually use this air mouse or air keyboard remote control to operate the screen and this is only for the cars without the touch screen if you have a touch screen then you simply click on the screen itself so it's a very easy and very convenient uh, device um, so for example you can just go around with this you can uh, in fact use the mouse option here and you know you have the cursor on the screen as you can see and you can operate this device so it's a very nice and convenient accessory that comes along with this device when you order it uh, and uh, ideal for cars without touchscreen as well so in order to use this device to its fullest you will have to connect this to internet you know most of the applications uh, require internet access to run um, and there are two ways to connect to internet one you can connect it with your mobile's hotspot you simply need to go to uh, you know settings and look for the wi-fi settings uh, like this so you click on wi-fi and then look for your mobile's hotspot connection and connect it i've already connected it with my mobile's hotspot um, it's a very easy process and the good thing with this is that it will remain connected as soon as you come in the car switch on the device it will automatically connect with your mobile's hotspot and the other more convenient way is to insert a sim card there is a sim card tray onto this device you simply need to insert a sim card and then this device stays connected to internet all the time so very easy to use convenient two ways to connect this device with internet all right so the very first application i would like to test on this device is the most frequently used app which is youtube so let's go to the youtube app and as you can see it's very quick to uh, to load you know all the thumbnails get uploaded really quickly as you scroll up so it doesn't take a lot of time and uh, what i'm going to play is one of my videos and what i want to test is one whether we can play high resolution videos on youtube and two if is there any problem with the audio and the video syncing now some of the devices i've tested some of my viewers have complained that the, while playing videos on youtube the audio and video is not in sync so let's play one of my videos just to test that all right so um, 
Now, because this device is connected to the system of my car, I can use the steering wheel controls to manage the volume. So, this new model is called. As you can see, looks quite nice. This is the video I'm playing. Uh, what I wanted to test here is whether the audio and video is in sync. And as you can see, it's totally in sync. On the Android operating system with two gigs of RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage that can be expanded with a micro SD card or a USB flash drive. Uh, it can be connected to the internet through the 5G Wi-Fi connectivity. All right. So audio video is totally in sync. Absolutely no issues. You can see the clarity is very nice. In fact, you can go and uh, change the resolution if you want. 720p is what uh, it's playing currently, which I always recommend. But if you want to increase that, you can go all the way up to 2160p, which is 4K. But I don't recommend that, you know, uh, that just puts added pressure on the on the device their internet connection and then also you don't really need 4k on such a small screen in your car um, as you can see 720p is good enough it's very clear it doesn't stop doesn't lag doesn't buffer at all and plays very smoothly at max if you want to increase this i would say go up to 1080p uh, and that would be more than enough for such a small screen all right, so the other nice thing with this device is that it comes with built-in GPS system. So you don't have to actually connect any external GPS antennas. There is a GPS system built into this device. Um, so we can actually go and test that. So you have the navigation running here, but if you want to go to any other navigation app, you've got Google Maps here, uh, you've got the Yango Maps, uh, you've got Waze as well. I like Waze, so let's try Waze. Um, and uh, what I want to see is, uh, you know, how fast is the application once it's running as you can see uh, looks quite nice if let's pick up one of the locations all right so quite quick doesn't take a lot of time and then you also have the guidance voice enabled here as well you can switch that off if you want but uh, let's keep it on um, as you can see very nice the screen is also quite responsive um, and you can use any of your favorite navigation application you don't have to stick to any one of them and also you can actually change the main page navigation window i've got yango maps but if you want to change that to waze or google maps you can do that as well now the other very nice feature in this device uh, and also in some of the other devices i've recently tested is this function called split screen uh, now this function allows you to have two applications running side by side at the same time um, so let's try that out so basically we go to this mini uh, floating menu click on this icon and then depending on whichever app you want to run you can for example use uh, the navigation click on the split left it will take that application running on the left side and then you can pick any other app that you want to run on the right side so let's pick up this youtube app now as you can see we've got two applications running side by side at the same time and both these are active the navigation is live as well as this video which is playing you can see uh, the video is also playing so this is such a nice and wonderful feature to have in the car um, you know if you're uh, traveling with your friends or family you can have this setup you can watch or follow the navigation on the left side while your you know friends and family can watch something on the right side so a very nice split screen split screen function available on this tech wizard device Right, so there are so many different applications available here. As you can see, there are quite a few of pre-installed ones, but you can install more applications. We can st keep testing, you know, all these. I don't have login details for Prime Videos or the SkyGo or any other applications. I do have Netflix logged in, so let's test the, the Netflix uh, performance. All right, so let's uh, test this video here. All right, so as you can see, very quick to load movies quite quick um, and when you skip scenes on Netflix it's instant it doesn't take much time very good very nice and clear as you can see the performance of Netflix just like YouTube is quite good it plays very smoothly absolutely no buffering or uh, any sort of disturbance the clarity is also quite nice so just like YouTube Netflix is also playing quite nicely on this tech wizard device 
All right, so now I will test one of my favorite apps, which is the Live TV app. Now, there are two options. I've got, uh, you know, this device comes with this uh, Live TV pre-installed application called Tech Wizard IPTV, but you need to have your own TV package to run this. Or you can install any other IPTV application. I've got IPTV Smartest Pro. This is what I use. Um, you know, as I said, you can use any of these applications. These are free to download. This comes pre-installed, but you would need your TV package that you can use on these applications to run live TV. I've already got a test package that I will test on this uh, in this video. So let's go to this section uh, and this is the layout. Let's go to the live TV and I've got some favorite set here just for the test today. So let's see if these channels work um, and how long does this does it take to switch channels on this device. All right, so live TV is working quite nicely. Let's blow this up. See, it's quite nice. Let's change the channel. All right, so it changes the channel quickly as well. Doesn't take a lot of time. Of his batting stance, but also his lead up. She's got it She's down. She's got it down, but yeah. lean back, little wiggle. She's probably see it a few times. <laughs> All right, so the live TV is working perfectly fine, absolutely no issues, um, you know, plays quite nicely, no lag, no buffering at all. Uh, changes channels quite quickly as well uh, and and more importantly the overall quality is quite amazing as you can see I love playing live TV on these applications especially when I'm in the parking waiting for someone um, so as you can see even on this device uh, the live TV package works quite nicely. All right, so the other very nice uh, feature in this device is called the mobile screen mirroring. Now, this is uh, you know one of those features that you find in most of these devices. You can install different applications that allow mobile screen mirroring like a air screen or other devices. Now, this model comes with a pre-installed Carbit Link app. This is the app that allows you to have the mobile screen mirrored on the screen of your car. Um, and we will try that now. So let's click on this. Now, you can do this on your iPhone or Android mobile or any operating operating system. Uh, what you need to do is simply go to the Carbit Link uh, application and uh, I'm testing this on my iPhone but you can uh, obviously test this on other uh, mobiles as well and what you need to do is just simply go to the command center, click on mobile screen mirroring and then you'll find Carbit Link appear here, click on this and then in a second or two uh, you will have the screen of your mobile mirrored on the screen of your car like that. So very quick to connect, uh, a very nice feature. Um, and as you can see, there's tiny, tiny bit of lag, uh, but um, you know, not a big deal. Uh, looks quite nice. It's a very nice, wonderful feature to have uh, on this device, right? You can, um, you know, go to your gallery, personal gallery, and watch your home videos or movies or images on the screen of your car. Looks quite nice. And again, it's very quick. Uh, there is uh, not a lag, but tiny, tiny bit of a lag, which for me is not a big deal, but, um, you know, works quite nicely. All right, so now let's test uh, all important wireless Apple CarPlay connection. Uh, so what we need to do is click on this speed play icon. Uh, now this is, takes you to this page. This is the main connections page. Uh, now uh, what you need to do is go to the iPhone, open the settings, go to the Bluetooth, and uh, look for a new device. Uh, it would call, uh, it's Tech Wizard here on the screen. So click on Tech Wizard, pair the device, allow it to sync contacts and favorites, and then use CarPlay. That's it, a few messages. And now it will take a few seconds for the device to start and uh, get to the main homepage of uh, Apple CarPlay that looks like this. Right, so this, this is the main home page of the landing page. Um, and uh, let me switch on internet on my device. And um, as you can see, looks very nice. It's very quick to connect, doesn't take a lot of time. And this is a one-time connection. You just need to establish the connection between the device and your mobile once. And then every time you switch on the car, you have an option of directly going to this Apple CarPlay platform. Uh, so this is the main page. You've got split screen here, navigation, media, uh, your calendar can also appear here on the right side. You have some of the applications that are currently running or the ones that were last used. You have this button here that takes you to the full app view of all the different applications available on Apple CarPlay like this. Now, I won't be explaining the different functions and features of Apple CarPlay in this video. All I wanted to see was whether I can connect to Apple CarPlay on this Tech Wizard uh, MMB Pro Smart 
CarPlay device and as you can see it connects uh, quite nicely it's very quick to connect um, looks quite nice now this is a standard Apple CarPlay um, so nothing special with this device but the good thing is that it connects and connects quite quickly so now let me go out and try to connect the, the wireless Android Auto all right so now let's connect uh, the wireless android auto system so we click on the speed play app again we get to the main connection page now what you need to do is on your android mobile simply go to the bluetooth and add a new device uh, it would be tech wizard yep this is the one so we click on tech wizard it will start pairing so we click on pair and that's it so it just takes uh, one message and then in a few seconds we should be able to see the home page of the wireless Android auto system on the screen here. All right, so there you go. Just like Apple CarPlay, the wireless Android auto is also quite quick to connect. Um, you know, it takes you to the home page of the Android auto system that looks like this, very similar to the CarPlay. You've got navigation here. Now, I don't have internet on on my uh, Android mobile. That's why we're not getting the map here. But if you have it on, you'll get the map just like Apple CarPlay. You've got media on the right side, some of the applications that are running on the left side. You've got voice input now. Uh, on Apple app, uh, Apple CarPlay as well as on the Android Auto app platforms, you can actually use the voice command through the Siri system or the Google Voice Assistant to operate the device. You don't have to click on the screen all the time. Uh, so if you click on this button here, you get to see all the different uh, apps that are available on the Android Auto system. Um, and these are the ones that are compatible. You've got settings. You can change the look and feel, the wallpaper and the icons. Um, overall looks quite nice very quick to connect again i would not explain the different functions and features of android auto in this video all i wanted to see is whether android auto is connecting and it is connecting very quickly again one-time connection you don't have to worry about connecting to android auto again when you sit in the car it can keeps auto connected as soon as you sit in the car it will give you an option of directly going into this system which is the android auto system so quite nice very quick to connect both apple carplay and the android auto system on this tech wizard device that's it friends so this was a quick review of this very nice smart carplay ai box um, i really like it it's a fully loaded device it's got all the standard basic functions like carplay android auto you can enjoy youtube netflix live tv internet connectivity is very nice and stable navigation is also quite fast um, you've got all the necessary functions like mobile screen mirroring or the split screen function so all in all a very nice fully loaded decent fast car Play device I would recommend to my viewers uh, and the other nice thing with this brand is that they deliver worldwide you don't have to worry about the shipping you simply need to go and click on the link in the description below and it will take you directly to the official store where you can place your order and it will be delivered to your doorstep anywhere in the world that's it friends if you like my content you can go and support this channel with the super thanks icon below and if you are new to my channel please do subscribe and click on that bell icon so you won't miss out on any of my upcoming videos thanks for watching guys